like playing tricks? Can't live without pranks? We know how to amaze you! Let's prepare an aquarium pencil case for the teacher. Fill a Ziploc bag with water. Zip it and put it into an empty pencil case. Put school supplies on top. Shift the pencil case closer to Miss Smith. She puts a pen in it without looking and pricks the water bag accidentally. Little by little, the desk is being flooded. The teacher is confused. Where does the water come from? It's your student's tears, Miss Smith. Miss Smith never lets us have fun during classes. As soon as we start dancing, she makes a remark. We have to entertain ourselves another way. I will give a pen with a spring and a sticky notebook to my friend. Attach a double-sided tape to a notebook cover. My friend takes the notebook and her hand sticks to the cover at once. This notebook is a special one. It'll make the knowledge stick to you. Meantime, my sleeve is the only thing that sticks. After getting off the notebook, I take a pen. But weird things continue to happen. The pen retracts at the most unexpected moment. Take a spring out of a retractable pen. Snip off the refill of a regular ballpoint pen. Attach a spring to it. Put the refill back into the barrel of the regular pen. My friend must have given me a lazy pen. It refuses to work. It keeps goofing off and dipping suddenly all the time. Well, that's enough. It's been the last straw. The blue-eyed girl has made me go nuts this time. A real war is going to begin. It's great the peacemaker Miss Smith hurries up to stop the conflict. She persuades the girls to stop fighting and to make up the quarrel. But the enemies still keep holding grudges. Miss Smith likes candies very much, but eating in class means breaking the rules. She has another plan. She will disguise candies as an eraser. Take a kneaded eraser out of the package. Put Frutella candies into a microwave for 20 seconds. Add black liquid food coloring into the melted mass and knead it wearing gloves. Shape it into a 3D rectangle to look like a kneaded eraser. Put it into the package instead of the real eraser. Miss Smith takes out the kneaded eraser and wants to take a bite of it, but she sees the reaction of her students. Ew! Why would Miss Smith be chewing on an eraser? There is nothing to be done. Miss Smith pretends that the eraser is her favorite dessert that she eats on a daily basis. Let's put a little friend into Miss Smith's cup stealthily. A cute little octopus which will grow into a giant sea monster. Take a rubber octopus growing bigger in size when it gets into fluid. Toss it into a drink. Yuck! It looks terrifying! Miss Smith is drinking her coffee, looking through her Instagram, when a sudden guest gets into her cup. She doesn't notice that her mug turns into an octopus aquarium. She goes away to take a wipe for cleaning a spilled stain. Meanwhile, her little guest turns into a real sea monster. When Miss Smith takes another sip, she is terrified to discover the sea dweller. Well, now she will have to wipe her desk again. She might be allergic to seafood. It's time to run away. Miss Smith is an outstanding person, so her lipstick should stand out too. We will take care of it. Melt lipstick in a spoon. Add blue food coloring. Mix the fluid and pour it into a lipstick container. Refrigerate it. Substitute a regular lipstick for the blue one. The teacher applies the lipstick without looking at a mirror, and she can't figure out why the whole class is laughing at her. Maybe Miss Smith has kissed Inkfish? Or has she had a date with Bluebeard? Let's prank Miss Smith with the magic whiteboard eraser. Apply purple stamp ink to the dark side of a whiteboard magnetic eraser. The teacher wants to clean the board, but there are glittering purple stains left after the eraser. That's not our fault, Miss Smith. While you were away, a fairy came by and substituted your whiteboard eraser. We have nothing to do with it. Oh, Miss Smith shouldn't have left her ruler on her desk. 
Wipe off the hatch marks on the plastic ruler with nail polish remover. Replace her regular ruler with the fake one. Miss Smith takes the ruler and wants to draw a graph of function in her notebook. Where are all the hatch marks? You can't measure anything with this ruler. It's a humanitarian ruler. It despises figures. A lot of things annoy Miss Smith. Munching during class, students feeling happy, and a sound of a stapler clipping the paper. I've made a pranking stapler especially for Miss Smith. Take out staples from the stapler. Mark their size on a piece of cardboard and add a little bit more to each side for folding. Draw lines to mark each staple. Define in a black pen. Add glossy eyeshadow into white and black acrylic paint. Mix the color. Paint the cardboard and add a little bit of water to make the staple pattern visible. When the paint is dry, cut out the staple image. Fold up the sides using a ruler. The fake staples look exactly like the real ones. Set cardboard staples in the stapler. I give it to the teacher. She thinks I'm too clumsy if I can't use a stapler in the right way. But she doesn't manage to do it either. Certainly not, since the staples are made from paper. Did your friend sneak eyeshadow into class? What a rebel she is! But she reveals her secret. It's actually an eraser. Take out eyeshadow containers from an old palette. Cut out colorful erasers to fit the containers. Clean the palette and put the erasers into the palette instead of makeup. Put the applicator back into its place and close the box. Miss Smith sees the eyeshadow and takes it away. She tries to apply it, but fails. And I told you, it's an eraser. You can remove all your comments and bad marks. Let's give her a pencil with a fake eraser. Take out the eraser from a pencil. Cut out a piece of pink chalk to shape a little eraser. Put it into the metal part of the pencil and paint it with white gouache. Miss Smith wants to erase something. She turns the pencil over, but pink traces appear on the paper. What's wrong with it? Why are they goofing on me? Calm down, Miss Smith. Take another eraser. Take a white eraser from a package. Dissolve gelatin in milk. Heat it up in a microwave. Mix it and let it jellify. Take the cool jelly out of the container and cut it out to shape the eraser. Put the gummy eraser into the package. Fasten it using double-sided tape. The teacher uses the gummy eraser, but it is falling apart in her hands. Do not cry, Miss Smith, otherwise the jelly will get wet and stick together your entire notebook. A lipstick is the best camouflage for candies. Put the sweet colored mints of Tic Tacs into a clean lipstick container. Put on the top. It's time for makeup. My friend applies her EOS balm on her lips. I give my lipstick to her to test and taste. Miss Smith wants to be beautiful too. She takes a mirror and puts on her red lipstick. Food is prohibited in class, but makeup's not. Oreo instead of wet wipes is another hack to sneak food in class. Take a few wipes from the pack to get some free space. Open up a package of Oreos. Wrap each cookie into foil. Make a few big silver coins. Put them into the white package. Attach the flap back. Does your friend need to clean her hands? Attention, we've got a special offer today. Open a white package and take an Oreo cookie. Do you still need a wipe? Go and wash your hands. Take a break. Get a snack. Eat your cookie while Miss Smith's dozing off. My neighbor needs glue. She takes my stick, but it doesn't work. Certainly not, because there's nail polish hidden in it. Remove the bolt screw from an empty glue stick and take out the central plastic stick. Hot glue the bolt screw back and put a nail polish bottle into the empty glue stick container. No one will suspect there is makeup hidden in regular paper glue. Right till the moment when the teacher needs the glue. Oops, now that's a fail. 
Miss Smith, you are supposed to have your personal glue. Stop borrowing school supplies from your students. And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell. Tingling means it's time for fascinating Troom Troom lessons.